The past 24 hours have been extremely painful and disappointing to me. My disappointment has nothing to do with the fact that I parted company with Senator John McCain. This was by far the best for both of us and best for the country. It is time for the candidates and the media to turn their attention back to the pressing issues of our day and stop focusing upon what I did or did not say decades ago. What has been most disappointing to me is to see my life's work, the great passion of my life, mischaracterized and attacked. I have, been dedicated, I have dedicated my life to combating anti-Semitism and supporting the state of Israel. In taking a stand for Israel, I have received death threats from anti-Semites and neo-Nazis. I have had the windows of my car blown out beneath the windows of the rooms in which my children slept. To hear people who know nothing about me or my life's work claim that I somehow excuse the Holocaust is simply untrue and heartbreaking. I have always condemned the horrors of the Holocaust in the strongest terms. But even more importantly, my abhorrence of the Holocaust and anti-Semitism has never stopped with mere words. I have devoted most of my adult life to ensuring that there will never be a second Holocaust. I have worked tirelessly to oppose anti-Semitism and to ensure the survival of the state of Israel. 